Hey, my name is Sid, and welcome to the fourth episode of the Syrup Series. In this episode, we're going to go through the vision, culture, and strategy of Maple. We're going to start with our dream and then go through the ways that we believe that we can get there together. So, beginning with Maple's vision, our mission is to become the universal gateway to capital for growth seekers and entrepreneurs. We plan to do this by connecting growth seekers across the globe with secure, efficient, and frictionless capital and yield opportunities through Web3 technology. These opportunities are created by pool delegates who manage capital on behalf of lenders and allocate it transparently to institutional lending. Maple provides the infrastructure to serve these different groups of users. And together, we create a network where capital flows freely between lenders and borrowers in order to fuel real world growth. So let's move on and talk about culture. Now Maple's team is a collection of unique individuals with a common set of values. What links everyone in common is that they are highly energetic and passionate about blockchain and financial markets. But we have four core values that really cement this culture. The first one is to focus and execute. Now there's only 24 hours in a day and we can't be everything to everyone. As Steve Jobs famously said, you think focus is about saying yes. Well, no, focus is about saying no to things that sound like great ideas. Our culture is to focus only on those opportunities that drive the most value to the platform and then trying to execute on those opportunities relentlessly. The second core value is to put users first. So the key to Maple's success is our users. They should be our biggest evangelists. And so we try to create an intuitive product and a frictionless customer experience. The third is taking ownership. So our team operates proactively and completes their work to the highest standard possible so that we put out only quality product. The fourth is to be innovative. So to be the universal gateway to capital, we need to iterate and to innovate rapidly. Web3 is moving at lightning speed, and so we've got to stay ahead of this. Now, you can't provide world-class tech if we're just going to slavishly copy what's come before. So building fast and building innovatively is key for us building a competitive mode. Let's go on and look at our culture. So to source the best talent, we've set up a remote, remote team structure, and that's because really... Crypto is such a small space that in order to find the talent, we need to be able to source this globally. Second, we have a really strong team spirit and work ethic, which unites everyone. And we try and foster this through having two offsites a year where we can bring everyone together in person for events um, such as team bonding, strategy sessions, as well as working through the story of how Maple got to where it is today. And then we try and find a balance between productive time as well as what we would call active rest. Now, Maple's strategy is really to transform capital markets using technology. So we're a tech-focused, blockchain-enabled platform. But what does this actually mean? So we try and have frictionless and efficient um, workflows uh, by having these built on top of a public blockchain, so Ethereum and Solana. Next, by making on-chain actions instant, global, 24-7, and transparently sealed by code. So following on from this, we try and have a growth focused network. Now, Maple's growth is enabled by its users and just like other digital platforms, the network effect really takes hold. So for every new user that joins, the value of each existing user goes up exponentially and this leads to accelerated adoption and expansion. Thirdly, let's look at the free flowing capital on the platform. So lending can come in a wide variety of structures, all immediate and more efficient when they're done on chain. And then finally, we try and build with institutions in mind. So Maple disrupts debt, but traditional due diligence and credit checks all need to you know, be in place. Uh, we've re rebuilt the system, but try to do so in a much better kind of way. And we're building with institutions in mind as these are ultimately you know, the large addressable market that we're trying to serve. So finally, looking at Maple's strategy. So similar to Elon Musk's Tesla, Maple's go-to-market strategy had three phases. So where Tesla began with a luxury car, then entered a premium market, and then finally went into mass market mode with the Model 3, Maple goes from crypto native to tech focused and ultimately is looking to expand in the broader sense uh, to bringing all of the world's capital markets on chain. So this means serving all industries and regions. Now, Maple's crypto native borrowers were to begin with market makers as well as Delta neutral trading firms, and they were in need of capital. They found it difficult to access through traditional financial channels. And so this created a niche for us to serve initially. So by identifying this underserved market, we were able to jump at that opportunity 
And then from there, we're going to broaden this by going to tech companies. So this is going to be a natural extension because these companies will be more um, comfortable adopting new solutions and new technologies in order to access credit and financial markets. And then finally, Maple is going to serve any business and institution. So ultimately, the goal is to have pool delegates serving regions around the world, as well as sectors outside of crypto. And really, you could see this uh, evolving in such a way that you could have a pool focused on Japanese corporates. So this would be a regional specific focus. You could have a pool focused on the energy sector. So that would be an industry specific focus. And then you could have one focused on investment grade borrowers. Now, this would be uh, segregating borrowers by credit worthiness or you know, their size. But ultimately, what it's going to enable is for lenders all over the world to step in and join these pools. And really, that's going to help bring the long tail of capital markets on chain. So wrapping up, our vision at Maple is to be the universal gateway to capital. And we execute on that where the United team rallied around this vision and really bonded by our shared values. So our strategy is to be crypto native first then expand into tech and ultimately to bring all of the world's capital markets on chain. So thanks for watching the fourth episode of the Syrup series. In case you missed the previous episodes, head to our YouTube channel via the link below, and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.